had a coastline on that. Sure enough, I looked and looked and thought I'd drive next time not to go there. I wonder what's wrong with this thing. I wish I could see a scum from here. <laughs> this used to be a Black & Decker heater, but I converted it into a fan. Can you see in there? It's just pure fan now. No heater elements in there to restrict air movement. Although the this grill does um, reduce a lot of airflow. I cut out chunks of the grill back here just to increase that airflow slightly and it did work quite a bit. Still getting restricted up here. I don't really want to hack pieces out of the grill and make it look stupid. So I just have the fan rigged straight to the plug-in. All this stuff is bypassed. I'm going to throw this dimmer switch in there. I'm going to try and rig it up in there somehow. And use one of these original knobs for it. And I'm going to hook up this light too. So that it gets dimmed with the dimmer switch. And maybe it will like go down as you turn the dimmer down. I don't know. Might be cool. But I just brought it in here. And I was only going to show it running once I got the dimmer switch on. But it's making a weird noise. And I don't know if it will keep making the sound. So. Whoops. Spins a bit faster than this, but needs to warm up. It's just got one of those really weak shaded pole motors in there. It has to literally be like one horsepower. It can barely spin this little two bladed fan up to speed. I noticed that the blade on this used to be heater uses a very heavy blade. It's like very solid. Like you could still bend it, but like in all three of my sea breezes, two of them vintage, they use that really light, very weak blade. Like you could just bend it so easily. Like if you went like this, you could just like totally kink the blade, but like. This one's very solid. It's not floppy at all. You can just do whatever you want. It just stays solid. That's why this little fan has such a long spin down time because the blade is really heavy. There we go. I think I'm going to clean this thing up a little. That was a decent amount of pitch. A whiny motor. Ugh, sounds like I need to oil that motor again.
kind of got some of the shine back. A little bit of rust, but. Just for poops and giggles, I'm going to try this blade. Oh, that's cool. Blade has like half the pitch, but one more blade. I don't know, not quite as strong, I guess, but less gusty. You can see how it doesn't have very good spin down time with this little light blade. Neat. This little plate was screwed up right under this switch here. These two screws screw in these two holes. And I just ripped it out of there in the beginning and I wasn't going to use it. And then I was figuring out how to keep the switch up there. I was going to just let this being on here hold it there, but then I figured why not just use that little clip and it has like little things there bent them around that thing can't really see very good on the camera but it's like hooked on there good it's tight and it's not going to come off my project is complete although i haven't put the grill on yet but it's checking her out yet this is on the lowest setting it'll work on If you turn it any lower, it goes into the stall mode there. And we all know this motor spins down good. Crank the full, turn it to stall. <laughs> it just stalls it right out. Look at this is the only little bit of uh, range you get. This is high. That's as low as you can go. Right there. And you can tell it goes in the stall too because watch the light. Listen to that cool sound it makes. Hello, warming her up a bit. This is all um, range that you can't use from here. Right there. So like this is as far down as you can go. That's like my speed range right there. See, we got high. See, and there's only like a little spot like between here and here. That's really my full range of speed. It's kind of trippy.
<laughs> Look at that, I got it right in the perfect spot where it kind of, it'll start to accelerate and it'll go into stall and slow down and then it'll kick out a stall and then accelerate again. Listen. See, watch the light. <laughs> light dimmers do weird things to fans. Here is the official finished product. Yeah, if you just have it a little too low, it kind of goes into stall and out of stall. See, and like this is... The fan motor isn't even humming anymore. And that light's still giving her a little. Turn it down some more. Blinking starts to get lower. And there, now the light's stalled out. Pretty, still got a little bit of turnage left. can hear it like pulsing or something. <laughs> well, it's pulsing rapidly. Blades turning very slow. Now it's, the pulsing is getting different now. Oh, 
Okay, now it's yeah, now it's just gonna turn really slow. It's still install right now. Turn it up a little more. There. See, and if I just leave it at that, it'll kind of go into stall and out of stall by itself. Now I'll turn it up to a functionable low speed. I better let her go full speed for a while, huh? My motor's probably getting pretty hot. Yeah, electric motors don't really like to be stalled out. <laughs> get hot very fast and what I kind of like is this LED And that's my custom Black & Decker fan. Thanks for watching.